something. We gotta go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Carter's Life. We are starting this one with Liz doing a car wash. Huh? Do you need any car wash? Well, we're taking the doom buggy out today. It's a little dirty, but it's only gonna get more dirty, so I'll do a car wash tomorrow if you're open for business. We're actually quite booked up. You're booked up? I'm just kidding. I can uh, make it work. Well, it looks but good now. I'm getting a new car. You are? Who's getting it for you? Me. Oh, really? Actually, what are you getting? I'm getting a. What's happening? You like my lift? I used to have one. I got my retainer. I'm so excited for it. I'm lifting. <laughs> I'm with Lispin. You want a Lispin iced tea? <laughs> Lispin. Oh my gosh, look. There's a wild million in the person's locker. What is she doing, guys? She's literally out there. She has no idea we're watching her. She's doing <laughs> something. What do you think she's doing? She's up to no good. Did you see this yet? What? Did you see what happened to me yesterday? <gasps> what happened? I got hold it. Oh, really? Yeah. I look like Iron I Man. Infected. I got punched by the hoverboard thing. All right, here he comes. Oh, it's up. Here we go. Okay, you're good. There we go. Yeah. My tattoos make me stronger. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I haven't taken this thing off roading. The only time I've ever taken it off the road was when we took it to Pismo. Throw a couple flashbacks. That video was so much fun. And since then, we've done a few upgrades, some TLC on this thing, so it's running a lot better. Uh, and I've also just spent more time with it. So I'm really excited to have it out on the opera. This time it's not gonna be sand, it's gonna be dirt and trails and hills and bumps. And uh, I think it's gonna do incredibly well. And I'm so excited. It's beautiful up on that trailer. We're all loaded up, time to hit the road. We're going up 5,000 feet in elevation up to uh, an off-road park called Gorman. Guys, someone stole the Team Rar limo. <laughs> It's right there, what the heck? <laughs> there it is. The only other limo like the Team Bar limo. Oh. That's gas. Coming from here. <laughs> that is not a good thing. Is there a wheel? You can't open that, can you? No, it's not a hood. Did I just overfill it? So I filled it to the top and I gave it a little bit more and decided not to go too high, but maybe I went a little too high. Mm -hmm. We'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah. Should be fine. I don't see why it should have an issue. Yeah. If this was after off-roading, then I'd maybe be more worried about it. <laughs> Hopefully we're good, guys. <laughs> Always has to be something, no matter what we do. <laughs> guys, check out this car. His huge spoiler has a tiny little spoiler right there on it. That's hilarious. We made it, guys. This is the same parking lot that we did last time, but there was no one here. Now it's a beautiful day, and there's actually all kinds of people here. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Air down the tires because we found a little bit of a uh, deep sand here, which looks like a lot of fun. So we're gonna kind of come through, try some drifty turns, but uh, we also don't want to get stuck. So airing down really helps this thing get a ton more traction. The tires are all aired down. We let out some air, so uh, they're gonna be a little bit softer, a little bit wider footprint, and hopefully it does better. Let's see how it does. <laughs> that looked like that was awesome what's up guys Woo! <laughs> so sandy. you couldn't even see me probably Dude, no you disappeared you kicked rocks at me over there too it's hilarious <laughs> everything's so dusty out here oh man all right so we're going for a burnout i think i got the hang of it Oh my God, the front tires don't even <laughs> as we drive into the bushes <laughs> i think we might get stuck <laughs> Oh, 
driving? I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go cool it down. That was a heavy rev. Alright, I'll hold it. We took a little break guys and we were dripping oil like crazy which either just happened or it's been leaking a lot but we're probably really low on oil so I'm gonna drive it back to the car and try to keep the engine cool there goes the one wheel all the way down but that is a pretty solid uh solid leak under there uh we hit something oh wait we ripped off the oil filter at, or something quick, yeah we gotta push. go we gotta go quick we gotta go this thing might blow on us so uh donut's not a great idea right now i'm glad i saw that yeah it's still running for now i got her in fourth gear I'm going uh as fast as i can with the least amount of throttle I'm hoping we got enough oil and we're not going to just completely fry this engine. If you run an engine with no oil, it, it's basically, it's toast. You can completely ruin it. Uh, it won't explode per se, but it's uh, it's not going to be good. But we're pulling into the campgrounds. I think this is our campground. Alright, so let's check it out. Oh no guys, it's still dripping like bad. The only good sign about that is there's still enough oil to drip. But uh, this is not good. Looking at the bottom of the engine, looks like we might have bent something or hit something or... I don't know enough about what this engine's supposed to look like underneath. Oh man, every time we come out on one of these adventures, something always has to happen in this case. Well, the dune buggy's got a major oil leak. Cannot drive it with that kind of oil leak. It's gonna need some attention. We're gonna have to look at it. But, uh... At least we made it back and we're not like 100 miles out because this place is huge. So I think we're good to go, for, at least for today. We'll have to put the dune buggy right back to the shop, which is right where it came from. <laughs> oh, man. And coming home, one good news is we got a ton of packages. Oh, my gosh, did we get a lot. That's because we got some awesome videos coming for the main channel. Stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't subscribed to my main channel, Carter Share, please do that. But let's look at that dune buggy. What happened? Just like... Oh. <laughs> covered in oil all of that it's still dripping still dripping which means we still have a little bit left <laughs> i don't know about that i don't know if that's the right but i think we really messed this thing up well yeah guys it's definitely not looking good right now i really think the dune buggy could be absolutely wrecked i'm just hoping we have enough to start it up to pull it off the trailer and get in the driveway without blowing the engine i think we'll be fine uh, i'm gonna be real quick about it I'm not gonna run it too long but uh, as always here on Carter's Life, it is an adventure, especially when we leave the house. Because it seems like we manage to break or mess up or do something wrong just about every single time. But uh, it's a lot of fun though. And honestly guys, it's definitely all worth it because you guys are watching along. If you guys weren't here watching, then it would be a huge bummer, but at least we had a great day. It makes for a fun video and you guys can follow along and all the crazy stuff that we're doing. So wish me luck on starting this up and see if we can get it into the driveway. All right, so so far, so good, but we really haven't started yet. All right, we're running, so let's get moving. Push me. And in gear. That oh, run drip right there already. It's meant to drip a little bit. It's just an old engine, but it's not supposed to. Oh, oh my gosh. We have a whole trail. Well, we got the dune buggy in place, guys, but we're going to take it to the shop. So stay tuned for another episode of Carter's Life where we figure out how bad the damage is and if we completely totaled it. I'm a little suspicious because I think we might have actually totaled it depending what part of the engine we hit and which part is leaking. It might be as good as just getting a new engine block. I don't know. We'll have to look, but it doesn't look pretty. See you guys on the next episode. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace.